Hello parents, good evening. Mrs. Walton here to uh, give you a little tip on how to use the Padlet on your mobile device, okay, on your tablet or on the phone. So if you're using your phone or a mobile device to access the library lessons, here are a few little tips. So I am here, let's see, we can go back to the home page just so you can see there's the home page and I'll click here and go to the weekly lessons. This week, and I may do a little update uh, in a different video just to show you, but uh, this is mainly for posting on the Padlet. So here we are uh, at April 13th through the 17th. Today we have the pre-K through second grade lesson. And so I'll click here. Um, for our pre-K through second grade lesson. All right, this is where you would go to read the stories and see the assignment. Please be sure to read the assignment so you'll know what to do, you'll know which day to read. We are at week two at the Scholastic Learn at Home, and so um, we're reading day 10. That was today's assignment for pre-K through second graders. So pre-K through kinder are going to read day 10. First and second graders would read day 7 today. All right, and then the activity is here. The information is here in English. And below, uh, I've used Google Translate for um, the Spanish version. Excuse me a moment. I just need to plug in my computer. All right. Now, once you've gone to the uh, activity page and watched the stories, read the stories, looked at the assignment, and you're ready to post. Today, for pre-K and kinder, they were to color or draw and color an Easter egg, design their own Easter egg. So you click here on Padlet. So here's the same thing on the phone. Okay, scroll down, April. 13th through the 17th, okay, pre-K and kinder, day 10, and I'm ready to post on my Padlet page. There's my Padlet page there. Here's my Padlet page here, all right? And you can see that we've already had some children post. Now, what these three children here have done is I provided an option. If you didn't want to draw uh, and post a picture, you could go to this website right here and color an egg online. Pick a design and color it online. And so these children picked different designs here and they colored their egg. They saved it and posted it here. Now here is my example. I used the drawing option in Padlet to create my egg. Using it lovely. <laughs> Here's how you would post. Now you'll just go to any open space here. If there's lots of postings, then just scroll down until you get to an open space anywhere. And simply double tap. And there you are. You have, you have a little window where you have a title, and that is where I suggest you put your child's name. And then you can type whatever you would like. Okay, so for example, I'll put a child's name. Okay, so that way I know who the child is. If you'd like to put their teacher, that would be excellent. Um, then I can type here. Here is my Easter egg design. All right. And now, if I, if my child drew a picture and colored a picture and I took a picture of it with my phone or I want to take a picture of it, I can bring up Padlet, do all of this and then click here, okay, and that will allow me to take a picture of my child's drawing. There are other options. You see the dots right here, okay. Now I see my other options. I can upload a picture that I have saved to my phone or my device. 
Um, or if the assignment is something, well, I can take a picture right here. That's another option to take a picture. It will ask you for advice, uh, uh, to allow it to um, use your camera, okay? Um, or I can do a voice recording or I can do a video. Some of the activities require the children to respond um, and so they can type their response or they can record their voice or record themselves giving the response if it's not a drawing or something to write. All right, so there's my choices. Now I used this one right here, draw, and I used, I have a pen for this tablet so it was easy for me to do it, but you can certainly use your finger and that's how I drew this egg right there. Now once you have recorded or taken your picture, you have a save button and once you save that button it comes back here and you simply click post and then you'll be able to do it. And it's the same process here on the phone. All I would do is scroll up, find an empty space on my phone, double tap, and then there's my window to type my child's name and then whatever I want to say about the assignment. If I want to take a picture, there's accessing my camera to take a picture. Or if I want to record my voice, okay, it's asking to record my, my voice. And so then I can say, hello, this is Amira from Miss So-and-So's class. And here is, well, I have to record it. Hello, my name is Amira and I'm from Miss So-and-So's class. And this is what I thought about today's assignment. I really like the stories and so on and so forth. And then you can play back. Hello, my name is Amira, and I'm from the so-and-so class, and this is what I thought about today's assignment. I really like the stories. And okay, and then I can save it. All right, and then I can hit save here, and it will show up in my Padlet. Okay, very easy, very simple uh, to do. And that's how you will be able to post um, on your Padlet anytime for any assignment. I do know that there were two Padlets that were created last week, and for some reason, it would not allow anyone to create postings. I don't know what happened with those. I've tried to figure out. Uh, the problem, but I did test today's Padlet uh, for pre-K through second, and I've tested uh, the Padlet for tomorrow for grades three through five, and those both open up without a problem. So, for example, second grade, um, you had social studies, you were to invent your own vehicle, your crazy vehicle, and I see some children have posted. And this is what I mean, parents. See, these children drew theirs, and their parent took a picture, and they uploaded the picture from their phone, or, as I said, double tap, click the camera button, okay, and then you can take a picture of the item, okay? You can take a picture of the item and post it there. So those are your ways to post on Padlet. I hope this was helpful. If you need me to walk you through anything, um, I'll be happy to give you a call or um, talk with you any other way. And you may certainly post your pictures in Class Dojo, but I would I will always have a Padlet for each lesson because this way I'm able to show the children, um, share links with them like I did here. Um, this is a link here. Also, I posted two videos 
of stories, Easter stories that I read. And so I'm, e I'm able to post those very easily here. Any other videos or live videos that I do for the lesson, I will be posting here at Padlet because it's uh, much easier in one place where I could put lots of information and it will hold many, many responses all in one location for all of the students. So I hope that it becomes easier and easier for each of you to uh, post here. But by all means, please communicate with me. I want this to be stress-free and enjoyable for you and for your children. Have a great day.